Hi, I'm Tracy Jackson with the Jackson Hackett Group, here with my business partner, Joanna Hackett. Hey, and we're here with a Two Minute Tuesday. Two Minute Tuesday. So we've got some tips for you today to um, sell your house if you do have a pet. Oh, cool. So first thing you want to do is eliminate the odor. Um, we either suggest either replacing the carpets if it's really bad, or at least have them clean. <laughs> By all means, open up a window. And whatever you do, do not use flowery smelling air fresheners. It just makes people think, what you hiding? What are you hiding? <laughs> I don't know, doggy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you also wanna repair pet related damage inside and out. Um, patch lawn areas to, per to replace brown spots. Fill in holes, uh, repair or replace torn or scratched screens mm -hmm. and torn or uh, repair scratched Door frames and doors. Door frames and doors. <laughs> um, Joanna, so what if you have a yard full of land, doggy landmines? What do you do? <laughs> you better get a pooper scooper. Okay. Yeah, get it up. All right. So also consider that your um, potential buyers may be afraid of your animal and vice versa. Your animal may not like the buyer. So um, a stress pet can be distracting to a buyer. So we suggest that you take the animal with you when you have a showing and or take, take it to work. work. Yeah. Um, or at least kennel it. Um, so those are some suggestions that we have for selling your homes when you have a pet. This has been your Two Minute Tuesday with Tracy and Joanna at Keller Williams.